I can smell. Whoa. You, men's perfume have mad projection. I can smell it all. As soon as I sprayed it, I smelt it before taking it to my nose. Oh my God! What is this? you guys this is your wing lady and i'm back with another smashing video yeah. <laughs> hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well because i'm doing so good and like i'm so excited today you can see the excitement when i'm this excited you know it's a haul <laughs> so Guys, you know, mm, most of the men on my channel have been saying, Wing lady, what you doing? It's not fair. You're only talking about perfumes for women alone. What about the guys? What about the men? Mm, I heard ya. So you know what I did? I went out and did like a hunt. A haul, yeah, but a hunt. I went on a hunt for like the most affordable, the best smelling, the most popular, easy to get, fragrances perfumes for men and i am back from my hunt and i have a haul for you guys so we're going to be talking about six different perfumes today so i'm not promising that it's going to be a short video so just grab something and just sit down because you're going to enjoy this session you are going to enjoy it so i have um four fragrance world perfumes i have one from la tapa and i have one from maison alhambra so i have kaid alfresan yeah i hear this new one is like um a dupe for hashivat or something but i hear that is the new you know main perfume for guys and i'm going to unbox it for you guys today i have aventus blue for him this is the supposed dupe of versace for home dylan blue okay i have philos opus noir I remember one of my subscribers actually recommended it. She was like, oh, she wants to see a review on Philo's Opus Noir. I think her name is Adefila Angela Ulua. So I'm going to make a review video for you, Angela Ulua. <laughs> so this is Philo's Opus Noir. Also for men, I have a uh, Zara Man. Zara Man, this is a dupe for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Then I have Swerve. This is the dupe for Dior Sauvage. Then finally, I have Oniro, or shall I call it the way I pronounce it, Oniro. <laughs> Oniro, this is the supposed dupe of Invictus by Paco Rabanne. So which one do we unbox first? I'm so excited. Let us try Aventus Blue for him. Let us unbox this one together. <sighs> so guys, what have you heard about Aventus Blue for him? I heard this quite popular among the ladies and you can't be wearing a Ventus blue for him and ladies will not be winking at you is it true i really want to know you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give these perfumes i'm gonna give them like most of them my husband is not a perfume kind of person he's not a perfume freak like me but i'm gonna give him these perfumes to wear and see which ones he likes and which ones i like on him so when i found out which ones i like i'm gonna come and tell you guys oh the box is nice kind of velvety Ooh, very neat. Top quality. Fragrance World Perfume. I like it. But I'm not here to talk about the box. I want to experience the juice. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Tell me how you smell Aventus Blue for him. Oh, yes. Guys, let's see if you're going to like this one. Let me let it. Wow. See, I just powerful. The wind just blew it straight into my nose. Woo! Hmm. This is fresh, soapy. A bit lemony, and I think it has sandalwood in there because it has that sort of um, creamy component that brings it all together. Okay, the cap keys very well. Wow. This is fresh, lemony, soapy clean. Is it lemony or citrusy? I think lemony. Wow, this is nice. Fresh, very fresh, very fresh. If you like fresh perfumes, get this. This is fresh, it's creamy because of sandalwood in there. I think there's sandalwood in there because I recognize that note by now. It's the creamy thing. 
it's beautiful it's good it's for like an average man you know something you just like wear out to i don't know like an outing like an everyday sort of perfume sure like an everyday sort of perfume a full review is still gonna be coming on this perfume so you guys should know what do the usual let me know which one you want me to drop a full review on first and i'm gonna drop a review on it as soon as i can you know i have to wear it and you know get a feel of it and all that yeah so we're unboxing swerve swerve suave <laughs> so cute now swerve is a supposed dupe of um dior sauvage you know the one that johnny depp is the model yep that one the aventus blue is the um versace for home Dylan blue now this is wow this is suave pretty neat the bottle is kind of cold ah, i like it doesn't keep but it's okay we are interested in the juice now how do you smell suave i can smell whoa you men's perfume have mad projection i can smell it all. as soon as i sprayed it i smelt it before taking it to my nose oh my god what is this guys get this one i haven't tried the rest i know get this if i smelt this on my husband ah god help him this is so smooth i don't even know how to describe this i'm not picking on particular notes like one by one one particular notes i'm not really picking up on that but this is so good this is smooth if you're going to pick up cheeks you know maybe at a party or whatever you're going wear this one and it's so well blended and rounded. There's some sand, there's some woody notes in there because I still smell that sandalwood um, note in there. there. There's something um, like green, something greenish, not a bad kind of green, not grassy, disgusting type of green, something green, fresh green, like fresh herbs, maybe a little bit of leather too. Eh? <laughs> Get suave. Number three, this is um, Zara Man. This is the supposed dupe of Tom Ford's um, Black Orchid. Now, I have Black Orchid. So, let's see. <sighs> oh, my God. Men's perfumes. Men's perfumes. It is not fair the way they make men's perfumes, like, so much better than women's. Like, the siage is just mad. You smell this on a man, you want to... <laughs> Okay, it comes with this ribbon. This is Zara Man. You want to see a review on Zara Man first, or which one should I just get to? Oh, so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It is so cute. Yeah, so freaking cute. Now I'm going to spray this one. I've done here. I've done here. I'm going to do here. Okay, Zara Man. Do you actually smell like Tom Ford's Black Orchid or do you smell better? They were right. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is, was not as, you know, intense and sharp as suave. This is more of a gentleman scent. It is more calm. It is not too loud. It is not shouting. It's not screaming at me. But it is there. And it is quality. And someone come close to you and they smell this. You're wearing this. They're going to want to talk to you. This is not an everyday scent as well. This is this is something you wear to special occasions. You know what, guys? I think you should mix this. Hmm? Mix this. Just layer this. Because I don't know. This is like a gentleman scent. A sign that you don't smell on everybody. It's just that gentleman sitting in the corner, you know, doing his thing, and you, you're you catching this from him. It's not something you find on everybody, and it is good. It's good. It's really good. I personally, it's not doing it for me. You know, I'm a woman, so I know those things. Personally, it's not really doing it for me as a woman, but it's, it's a good sense. Mm, it's good. 
it's good i won't lie next this is philo's opus noir this is the apparent dupe of zerjov's opera opera hey guys guy i'm so jealous i am so jealous of i'm gonna be wearing these perfumes i'm going to be wearing these perfumes i will layer them with my sweet perfume because ah eh hey, hey, hey this is such goodness they give you guys premium quality women you should start wearing guys perfumes though oh my god this is sleek what is this goodness super sleek ah, ah classy this would be for a classy man but let's try it out Woo. now op uh, opus noir hmm. it doesn't really project because i can't really smell <laughs> i haven't smelled it as much as you know i smelled the, the others Okay, this is a bit sweet of the top. I can taste the sweetness and the, and the hint of smokiness. This is truly a scent for a classy man. Sweet, little bit smoky, deep, dark, mysterious. The bottle actually fits the vibe of the juice. He has something. Can I? Ah. I can't identify the note, but I've smelled this before. It is sweet, you know, smoky, bit green, bit green actually, but in a good way, in a good way. And it has that sort of light citrusy. They try to put in something fresh in it to make it, you know, and it's a bit sweet of the top. There's something like a fruit that I can smell, like a fruit, like a berry. <laughs> Is it mango? There's something fruity. I can't identify. Don't worry. When I come with the review, I'm going to break it down for you. But there's something sweet right at the top. Down, it is smoky, mysterious, and dark. But there's something sweet that gets you right at the top. This is for classy men. Classy men. If you're classy, get that one. Then, we are moving on to Oniro. Oniro or Oniro. <laughs> This is the apparent dupe of Invictus. I mean, Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne's Invictus. Oh! You know, this perfume is so popular. If you are a guy and you don't even have Onero, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing because it's everywhere on the streets of Instagram. Like, if you say, I want a guy's perfume, they give you Onero. I don't know what the hype is all about, but if it is that good, I'm going to let you know that it is that good. And if it is not all that, uh, I will let you know as well. Okay, the cover has removed the perfume itself. Wow. And then there's something else. Oh, it came with a spray. Guys, check it out. There's a spray in there. Nice. Okay, nice. Okay. Now, this is Oniro or Oniro. It's beautiful, actually. All of these bottles are so classy. Men, when they make your things, they make them classy. It's not too shouty, it's not too loud, it's not too colorful, just classic. Now, let us check how Oniro smells at first impression. Siage. You know, perfume, you will know a perfume that has siage by when you spray it and it's not close to your nose and you can smell it. Beautiful. Actually, to my nose, this kind of has the vibe of Creed Aventus. It's kind of giving me that Creed Aventus vibe. The funny thing is, it's a bit powdery. It has fresh herb, herby or herbaly notes. They always put in the citrus or men's perfumes. Not always, but most of the time, put in the citrus or men's perfumes to make it, you know, fresher, to give you that freshness. Because men seem to like fresh, soapy scents. So it's there. That DNA is there. Then it's powdery. It's not too sweet. It's a bit citrusy. There may be a little bit of musk, like a dash of musk. Well blended together. Really nice, actually. Really, really nice. But so far, 
none of those perfumes have given me that reaction I had to suave. No wonder Salvage is a bestseller. That one, it's good. Price well. You can try Onero too. Don't worry. When the full review comes, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the perfume. Last but not the least, we have Kaid Alpha San. Kaid Alpha San by um, Latafa. Some say it's a dupe or a clone for Hashivat by Nishan. I don't know. I've never smelled Hashivat before. I really do not know. Now, unboxing it. Wow. Packaging is sleek. Like it. Like it. Wow. Oh my God. This one looks like a rich man's perfume. Let's check it out if it's giving that vibes. You know, I heard something that is actually having um, a magnetic cap. <laughs> this one has magnetic cap, you guys. Look. You see? You see? You see? <laughs> I'm such a baby. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to be playing with that cap. My God, I can't wait to smell this. Okay, let me do here. You cannot wait to actually smell it because the quality is just <laughs> mind blowing. Is that what I smell? This is so fruity. <laughs> wait. Pineapple fruity. Pineapple fruit. Is this even a man's perfume? The amount of sweetness shocked me. Like, how sweet? Pineapple, fruity sweet. This one smells almost like um, Ram's Gold by Latafa. The same brand. Oh, more. This is so fruity. Something like berries. Definitely citrus in there. It's just sweet and fruity right up the top. I never thought I'll find a man's perfume that is this fruity. Okay, it's pretty sweet. Then you have some citrus in the background, then something strong. I bet it has some woody notes in the background, but those are like in the background. Right? What I get is fruity sweet pineapples and citruses and berries. Not as sweet as, you know, the typical ladies' perfume, but this is sweeter than a lot of masculine perfumes. Guys, guys, this was such a successful blind buy haul. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button right this instant. Also, click on the subscribe button because <laughs> Wing Lady is not stopping. In fact, this Kaid Alpha Sand, there's a new one, a white one now called Kaid Alpha Sand Unlimited. I am coming back with another haul video for you guys. I'm not. Uh, Wing Lady got you on this channel. I got you. You know. So if you want to see that as soon as possible or whenever you want to see, just comment down below comment down below your comments be giving me ginger so comment down below <laughs> oh my god subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already because i don't even know what you're doing at this point if you're watching and not subscribed <laughs> guys this was this was good this was, this was really good let's do this again let's do this again like pretty pretty soon you guys perfume are just i'm into it now i'm into them like now now <laughs> thank you so much for watching up until this level Please don't forget to like. Please, I'm begging. Don't forget to like this video. Click on the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And watch other of my videos. And join me next time. Until next time. Ciao.